for understanding the uh, fundamentals of economics the today's lecture is based on the supply uh, it is it gives the uh, it gives a nice beginning to the students who would like to who would like to know economics very well the today's uh, today's agenda, agenda on supply is the concept of supply law of supply elasticity of supply market supply and individual supply change in supply let's start with the supply in the in the general life we are uh, we are listening that the supply there is less supply or there is high supply in the market but what it exactly mean the supply is the total amount of the product uh, that is the goods or services which a consumer which a producer would like to sell and able and want to sell in the market at any given period of time with a specified price that is called supply it it is a product which uh, which is available with the consumer to purchase at any period of time but it it is affected by the law of supply let's understand the law of supply other things remaining equal as the price of the commodity rises its supply is extended and if the price of the commodity will decrease then the supply is contracted here what is the meaning of extension of supply and contraction of supply the extension of supply means the increase in the supply and the contraction of supply means the decrease in the supply it is a uh, supply should is help to understand this concept very well it is a table that shows shows the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity supplied supply curve uh, it is a curve in the economics we are understanding the concept with the help of the graphical representation supply curve is the one it is a graphical representation of the relationship between product price and the quantity of the product which a seller is willing and able to supply in the market here the price of the factors of production and the technology remain constant for a specific period of time product price is measured on the vertical axis that is on the x axis and the sorry product price is me measured on the y axis and the quantity supplied in the market is measured on the y axis it describes the seller's desire to make the good available for the consumer let's understand this with the help of the supply schedule and curve here with the example so here the in the schedule we can see that when the price uh, price is price of the quantity is dollar 1 uh, no one no producer would like to sell any quantity in the market and when the price will increase from dollar 1.5 supplier would like to sell five quantity of their product and when uh, there is price increases from dollar uh, dollar 1.5 to dollar 2 then the quantity supplied in the market will become 30 we can see that from the uh, graph also uh, the determinants of the supply determinants of supply there are various determinant which of which affect the supply there are which is like price of the commodity state of technology prices of related goods goals of manufacturing company prices of factors of production etc let's understand this in detail the first determinant is the price of the factors of production for example the wages change in the wages prices of the raw material how it affect to the supply if there is change in the wages and it is increase or the price of the raw material will increase then the supplier have higher cost for the production of a unit then the, uh, then the profit will reduced by some amount so the uh, so the producer would like to supply less as the profit is low in the, so they are, so they are on less profit from that and if the wages price or the price of the raw material will decrease and supplier have high profit and they would like to supply more at the same prices the next determinant is the goals of the manufacturing company goals of manufacturing companies also affect the supply uh, very highly if the goals of the manufacturing company is on to high profit then they would like to supply at high prices because they are able to earn high from the um, high prices and if uh, there is new firm and take existence in the market and they would like to take existence in the market then they will also supply at the low prices also for some period of time so this affect the supply very highly the next determinant is the changes in the technology how changes in technology affect to the supply if uh, there is improved uh, improved technology uh, used by the firm then uh, it will reduce the cost of the production of uh, unit to the producer and uh, the uh, and the same way the profit will higher uh, to the firm so the supplier would like to supply more in the market 
and if the technology is not cost saving then supplier would like to supply less because their profit will uh, reduced uh, price of the commodity how the price of commodity will affect the supply if uh, the competition in the market will affect the supply because if there are high competition which leads uh, the high substitute of the product available in the market and if there are high product available in the market then then the seller would like to sell more at low prices because of the competition and the price of the related goods if the price of the related goods is lower the other supplier would like to supply high at low prices and the uh, then the uh, one firm also have to supply high on the low prices because they want to available in the market let's understand the elasticity of supply elasticity of supply is a measure uh, in the is a measure in the economy which uh, which tells the responsiveness or the elasticity of the quantity supplied in the market when there is change in the prices we can know from this equation that is the percentage change in the quantity supplied which will divided by the percentage change in the price we have inelastic supply and elastic supply which which we can see from this graph first is inelastic supply it is about the when there are high change in the price which affect low to the uh, quantity supplied in the market then we called it inelastic supply because of change in price is less uh, less sensitive to the supply of the quantity the other is the elastic supply it is a smaller minor change in the price will affect high change in the quantity supply you can see from the graph that there is very less change in the price will affect a very high change in quantity supply this is about the elasticity of supply if elasticity ha is higher then the quantity supply is also higher it is when the price and demand will increase we have individual supply and market supply in the market individual supply is the goods or services uh, supplied by an individual seller is known as individual supply the market supply is the combination of all summation of all the individual supply is called the market supply we can know we can understand it very well from these uh, graphs and schedule supply schedule in the supply schedule we can see that when the price is dollar 30 firm a would like to supply 8 unit of quantity and firm firm b would like to supply 5 number of unit and that will become the addition of both will become the market demand the third graph shows this and when the price is decreases uh, decreases from 30 to 10 the firm a would uh, decrease their quantity supplied to 2 and firm b would supply one quantity and 3 will become the market demand in the market it is about the market demand and the uh, individual demand what is the change in supply and the what is the change in quantity supply there is a difference between the change in supply and change in quantity supply students are often confused with this uh, we are understanding this very well what is the change in supply change in supply is irrelevant with the price if there is change in the cost input prices or technology technology or regulation expectation leads to the change in supply there is outward uh, outward shift in supply curve and inward shift in supply curve outward shift in supply curve is when the price remains same but the quantity supplied in the market by the producer will increase uh, we can see from graph that the at the same p1 price the quantity supplied will increase from q1 to q2 it is the outward shift in supply curve what is the inward shift in supply curve inward shift in supply curve is there is no change in the price but the quantity supplied in the market will uh, reduce here in the graph shows that there is price at the fixed price the quantity supplied will increase from 50 to 30 it is called the inward shift in the supply change in quantity supplied change in quantity supplied is affected by the prices when there is increase or uh, decrease in the prices the quantity supplied in the market will change uh, in the graph we can see that when the price is p1 quantity supplied is q1 and the a number of unit is supplied in the market and when the price increase from p1 to p2 the supply quantity increase from q1 to q2 and that will become and in the market b number of quantity is supplied in the market it is about the change in quantity supplied it has movement along to the curve it is about the today's lecture it is about today's lecture stay tuned 
it is about today's lecture stay tuned with the uh, stay tuned in the examrest.com for more fundamentals of economic learning we'll be meeting you soon